Hi viewers, in this chapter uh, we are discussing about the integration. What is the integration? Integration of uh, components with the help of uh, all the electrical, electronics, uh, computers, uh, devices. How we are going to integrate to a manufacturing industry. That's what the integration here. The PLC, we are uh, discussing about the topic of the PLC, Programmable uh, Logic Controller. In that, how to do a uh, connections with these uh, automation systems or uh, switch and uh, output, input and output devices. These are all the things we are discussing. Uh, we were discussed in the previous videos. And how, what, how the automation is exist and how what is the portion of the robots in that industrial automation. These are all the things we are going to discuss in this integration part of it. So integration is the thing is how uh, we are getting integrated the uh, components uh, with the mechanical, electrical, electronic components with the manufacturing sector. See all uh, nowadays in the automation is very uh, important and it reduces the human effort and it will do uh, more number of work covers consistently and with accuracy. So here it is mainly based upon the uh, control systems, how it is going to be done. So in the uh, factory environment, we can see the production machines and uh, this is welding operation. There are so many operations out there, production operations it's needed and material handling operations, which is from we have to bring uh, some uh, components from one place to another place and uh, we have to make inspection and we have to make packing and uh, this is all so many. Uh, different activities which are all involved in this uh, factory environment so all these things need a control system also that controlling systems with the help of uh, some feedback devices and uh, these are all uh, will be useful over there so here in industries we are mainly used uh, a robo a industrial robo the industrial robo means what and how it is going to be used and what are the uh, characteristics or parts of it these are all the things we are going to study in this video so industrial robo is a general purpose a programmable type of machine so we and we can use uh, different programs for controlling the movement of the uh, robots and uh, it has a characteristic like a human uh, character which can uh, move we can it is useful for pick and place or it can be uh, taking a component from one place to another and it can sense and it can act so there are so many uh, actions out there uh, let me go with this what are all the important things it can be done uh, it can respond for the signals what it is getting from uh, from, from the sensors so it can say, respond to the signals and it can act uh, take the decisions in such a way that it can work so just like it will use the arms uh, just like a human being uh, for picking and placing or keeping uh, moving these things from one place to another place so and uh, it will take uh, some important decisions uh, with the help of the uh, sensors inputs what the sensor is conveying to the controller unit so that it will act accordingly so this is called the uh, robots which are all industrial robots which is there and uh, the structure if you see the uh, structure it's a basic structure of the robo or anatomy we call it as anatomy so there uh, it is located some it is permanently some robots are located some uh, robots are able to movable and uh, the permanent located uh, robot would have the ground and the base it is there so in the base the links and joints are important so links and joints uh, links uh, are getting connected with the help of the joints okay so uh, joints we can say in, in some other way the joints are used to uh, operate the links or uh, relative movement of the joints are used to make the relative movement of the links okay if one link is moved then how about the other link can be moved with the help of that uh, joint so this is what uh, the thing is so joints and links are very important in this case so you can see the joints different kinds of joints uh, there we need main thing is uh, the link how the movements are possible okay relative movements the joints already we say no joints are used for the relative movement of the uh, links okay each joint 
uh, we will provide each joint will provide some degrees of motion so just like our wrist it will move uh, and it it can move in this direction so it can rotate so this is a joint just like each and every robo uh, links or connected in connected with the uh, joints the joints will uh, have uh, it provide some degrees of freedom degrees of motion that's what freedom movement we call it if more and uh, that's what control uh, relative movement will be needed for uh, when what exactly we want to get it so the complexity uh, depends upon the number of uh, degrees total number of degrees if more number of degrees uh, possess then complexity of the design will be more if uh, very less then it will be easier we will see with the joints uh, type of joints over here so the the joints maybe it provides the degrees of freedom as we said so that linear joint we can see a linear joint where the input and output link then can be moved in a linear moment so it can provide only the a linear uh, position orthogonal joint that is a uh, uh, perpendicular uh, some the input link and output link may be a perpendicular output it can be get it or uh, that's a reverse vice versa it will be so rotational joints will help uh, for the movement uh, rotary action uh, input and output can be it can be rotated uh, for some uh, position some rotation and the twisting uh, can be just like a couple effect uh, it will be twist it helps for the twisting moment and revolving joint it is the so different types of joints will be used for the what is the requirement it depends upon the requirements uh, of uh, what what would we need in uh, the process output okay and there are uh, some systems just like electrical uh, we say you know, drive system so there are the drive system which are commonly used as uh, electrical hydraulics and pneumatic drives and uh, in electrical drives we can say the servo motors and stepper motors or will be used in hydraulic uh, we can say the piston and uh, rotary vans actuators can be used for the what we uh, require is the final thing is it may be a, a rotary movement or it may be a linear movement so electrical actuator or hydraulic actuator or mechanical actuator and pneumatic actuators or all uh, the types of drive systems which are used for uh, doing the final output what we want to get it from the machines so the pneumatic uh, drive in, in a robo also it, we can, it can be operated with a pneumatic drive where it is a simpler uh, robotic application so it will be used for the uh, pneumatics suppose in case if it is a heavy load operations and the robots what we are going to use with this is uh, hydraulics types so the combination of drive systems and uh, the electrical electronic things which is a feedback control system it determines the response of the uh, uh, robo manipulator right so it how uh, what is the speed it can be act so we can decide what type of uh, actuator we can use it and uh, how the production for increasing the production rate how much fast it can be run these are all uh, all the things we have to discuss before de decide before going for the selection of this uh, actuators and all so here you can see the hydraulic actuators where high heavy load applications hydraulic actuators and uh, the rotary motors pistons hydraulic pistons are there and uh, servo motors and stepper motors which is used for the uh, rotation of the spindle rotation speed control can be done on rotation uh, control it can be tilted for a very minute angle that stepper motors will be used for it and this is all the uh, different electrical actuators and uh, the things and uh, uh, there is a robo control system when we are going for a control system uh, it can be controlled in four or uh, four methods limited sequence control system where uh, sequence operations are uh, programmed and uh, the movements of the uh, robo can be done in step of each each every steps with the help of a, a program a stopper okay once it reaches to the uh, reaches the stop button then next next operation should be done so this is what limited sequence control uh, sequence or arranged in a manner and when uh, one sensor touches one uh, limit switch or something else then it will stop and it will operate another sequence just like it will go playback with the point point to point control system means first we will operate 
uh, with the help of manual power and the memory is getting stored okay it will get the store the memory what point what location it has to go the robotic arm has to pick and place suppose if i want to uh, take up a uh, coin here and i have to keep it uh, here so first manually i will operate and that is uh, recorded in the memory then when automatically it will operate it will go to the particular points this is what uh, playback with point to point control system and uh, continuous control system is there which is uh, with, with the help of uh, some uh, programming just like cnc path programming we can write course g course m course and all uh, continuous path programming uh, interpolation we will call as linear interpolation and circular interpolation through which it can be uh, moved the with the help of the program it will be moved and for a particular uh, operation particular distance and the intelligent control robo which is the one which automatically it will uh, sense and do it just like our games so uh, if you move uh, some position it has to move uh, according to it so this is what uh, it can act uh, their own decision uh, with the help of the what inputs already we have fed so, but it needs more uh, programming and it's a complexity one advanced level of programming languages we have to uh, fed it so that uh, it will operate according to the uh, inputs it will design uh, to run okay this is what uh, the uh, it requires the uh, intelligent control motion to it ability it has a ability it may have a computational uh, analysis automatically it will comp uh, calculate it with the help of the input what we are sending so these are all the types of the robotic control systems okay fine thank you